welcome back to the channel guys you're here with Re and you're watching simply Shen and Re. I'm outside in my garden so if you hear any noise that's because I'm outside so you just have to bear with it's kind of windy today uh, so today's video is going to be about my backyard garden that me and my family started during the quarantine and pandemic so I'm gonna just take you through to show you what we got before we start today's a video if you're new here welcome thank you for joining the gums gang and if you're returning thank you let's just jump straight into the video okay guys so this is the first section of the garden as soon as you come out this is the area that you will see and it's the struggle section of the garden because the soil everything is growing a bit slowly which is really kind of frustrating everything else is growing quite rapidly for you avid gardeners out there can you give me a remedy to help with the attack of my squash so this is a squash tree by the way and it's as you can see there is something eaten away at it and I've tried putting salt around it spraying vinegar water I've ordered some aloe water so I'm just waiting for that to come in and I'm gonna see how that goes in I have some onion some tomatoes more onion there's a sweet potato some more onion corn more squash Yes, I know, don't come for me guys. Nothing is uniform, nothing is in order. We just planted, uh, we just put anything down and planted it, however. It's really windy today, but gotta get this done. Over here on this section, I have a wild blueberry tree. That's gonna be lovely when the blueberry comes in have some more tomato trees here we eat a lot of tomato and most of the stuff that is grown in our garden is uh, the seeds from uh, fruits and veg that we bought and we just replanted them if you're here in the plane right now I live quite close to Heathrow Airport this is our lovely mint bush uh, Kali uses it to make her tea and I use it when I'm making lamb. We took out some of the stalks and we planted around the yard. You'll see when I move around to the next section. Here we have some thyme growing. It's growing from this direction coming this way. We use this to cook with as well. So guys, I have, so here we have another tomato plant next to a potato which is behind of a rose tree for you avid gardeners out there my rose bud it doesn't open fully it doesn't blossom can you guys give me any reasons why it doesn't fully blossom you can see that it is ready on camera focus but it won't open and I'm not sure why but we're gonna transplant it from here in just a couple of days to see if it's because it's next to the potatoes but I don't think that should be a problem but I'll see here we have a pepper tree because we do tend to use a lot of peppers another potato tree so what we're growing mostly in our garden the three main things that we have is potato tomato and onions and some peppers more tomato tree this is a little onion uh, let me see yeah it's quite small another sweet potato stock some more pepper potatoes this lovely rosemary tree rosemary has so many benefits um, you can put it in your food you can make it with a tea I usually scent my rice water with the rosemary along with lavender this is our new purchase which we 
mid. These are grapes, but they're gonna be black grapes. Uh, they're gonna be harvested during the winter. So when I'm harvesting those, I'm gonna get a video for you guys. Some more potato. Over here we have our lettuce, our green section, lettuce, spinach. We have some chives. This is lettuce over here. The spinach hasn't shot up as yet, but we have lots of le lettuce. This started as a hobby. Like all of this was grass, it was nothing. So we started this and now it's turning into something where we need to get it a little bit more organized, separate beds. Cause as you can see, we just planted everything and just have it growing next to one another. Like there's a squash. Um, so what we have here, they don't have anything on them at the moment, but there's zucchini for us in the Caribbean and courgettes here in the UK. So they have, if I look at this one, they have little buds, you can see. So they're gonna start shooting quite soon. Some lettuce. I'm gonna have to bring you back on a harvest day okay guys we even have corn growing in our backyard not many stalks okay so this is as you can see those of you who would recognize this is mango so that's the mango there that's just transplanted out a few days ago so it's still fairly new and over here we've got some squash this is a squash coming here these are some more lettuce. These are zucchini. This more squash, zucchini. This this here is uh, cabbage. It looks doesn't look like a cabbage, no, but that's that's what it is. And eventually that will grow up and turn into a cabbage. Over here we've got some sweet potato. We have a lot of potato in our garden. That's sweet potato. I know, but yeah. we just have a lot of Lots potato of potatoes, <laughs> in yeah. general. And this, of course, is more tomatoes they're growing again. So what we did for the tomatoes to grow, actually, whatever tomatoes we bought in the store, we just saved the seeds. Yeah. And P went on a planting frenzy. So we actually turned a part of our house into like a greenhouse. I'll take you up there and show you what's left, what hasn't been transplanted yeah. as yet. So here again, um, this is sweet peppers, I guess more tomatoes. Here we've got uh, the rose tree growing. In the midst here we've got some more cabbage, some more squash, some more tomatoes. We've got some over here, this one over here, this is onion, these are onions, that is cucumber. This is more onions. This is more cucumber. More cucumber, that's all here. This is some lettuce here. All here is tomatoes in between. We've got some lettuce growing in between there. This is some more cabbage here. And more peppers across here. As you scroll further down. Which one is this? Most, yeah. most sweet. This is peppers, okay. peppers yeah. more sweet potato this is some corn I just planted out so it's still trying to find its roots can you imagine corn growing yeah. in the corn. backyard more that's more squash is more, that the more. butternut squash yes so this yes. isn't this is a butternut squash the, the butternut squash the zucchini and the watermelon, they all look pretty much like the same when they're young. Uh, more corn, more cabbage, more, that is squash, more onions going there. I planted some papaya here, they haven't spoiled up as yet, but they'll be coming in shortly. Some more mint, down here more tomatoes, this is a big tomato tree that's potato T -t potato actually I planted this last year and forgot to to dig it up and it just 
harvest. Oh, it just re-sprouted. So you can see the little row, the little buds that are coming up. Once they open and they bloom, the leaves will start to turn yellow, yeah. and that's when you'll know that they're you ready it, to um, harvest. But we did actually harvest one of our potato trees already, but we harvested a bit early, so they weren't as ripe. And Not as big as as <laughs> as we would like for them to be. And look at my beautiful roses. Well, these roses are kind of old. They're gonna start to die shortly. But can you imagine having your own rose tree? Oh, they're just beautiful. Yeah. My cousin said that she was gonna pick them for her home. That's why I haven't um, cut them as yet. So she's gonna come and get them maybe over the weekend. Here we have celery. Oh, 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 potato. As you can see, guys, we have lots of potato. I don't think that we'll be buying potato once anytime they start soon. to harvest. We'll be buying potato anytime soon because the one that a potato usually, a branch usually grows anything between 15 to 25 potatoes on one stalk. So, this plant here will give us around 15 to 25 potatoes. Yeah. And that's like a big bag of potatoes in the store. So this is what we did during quarantine. And oh, what are the this, this is more squash. More squash, more mint, mint, mint more potatoes again. And, and these are some rose trees I've transplanted. Oh. So these two are actually new. And as you can see, this this one looked like this, but it's starting to catch itself now. And then we're gonna move them once they've grown and rooted properly. We're gonna move them into a row section. Can you believe this was just <laughs> all of this was grass before the quarantine? And as soon as there was the quarantine, we was like, you either farm today and starve tomorrow because there was all of the talk of food shortage, and we got into it. And everything, guys, in our garden is from items that we bought and just learned how to grow them so the celery was celery that was bought um then it was stored in some water and it was regrown so we've already harvested um celery once so these ones will grow up and we'll have them in about a month's time okay guys and that's what we have grown for our garden what are you guys growing what hobbies did you pick up during quarantine do you guys have any suggestions for plants or fruits or veg that we should plant this has been exciting when we are ready to harvest I will bring you guys along for that journey I'm absolutely in love with my roses so thank you guys so much for tuning in Catch you next time.